Welcome to my members of Mac T Ford Edge and subscribers and Facebook and YouTube. And I have got the results back from the engine oil analysis from two locations, uh, two separate labs. And the first report, of course, is a private uh, group member that did the test for me. And uh, his overall impression is that the oil was excellent. Okay, so that goes to the Blackstone. How did their test results come out? Well, basically what they said was the engine wear was impressive. Okay, so AMS oil, yeah, it's good. I uh, don't look too happy and I'm not feeling good, but uh, overall, folks, it was an excellent test result outside of my box I do I have not driven a car to 10,000 miles on one oil change and you know what they told me to bump up the hours from 200 hours to 250 because the engine oil for the AMS oil signature 0 W20 was doing so well and the filter that I was using the AMS oil filter was filtering so well that they said I can go to 250 do another check at that and we might bump it up to 300 hours which would start getting me into the area of 15 to 20,000 miles so uh, I'm gonna bump this oil change that I just did uh, with the AMS oil signature up to 250 hours and we're gonna do another test on that but if you have thought about going with AMS oil I say seventy five dollars for an oil change that's gonna last you literally you know two hundred and fifty hours of driving now if you think about that that's a lot of driving that's a lot of engine time uh... so uh... you know i don't know what to tell you all other than i'm going with the AMS oil uh... i'm impressed i never did this before so you know they got me sold on it and uh, other things I wanted to go over is you know in the test results uh, I will put both PDF documents in Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook so that you can look at the test results by simply going to the files tab and pulling the test results up yourself and looking at them okay uh, I'm gonna go over some of the test results here real quick I don't want to make this a real long drawn out thing and I'll post a few snapshots of the uh, the report here at the end of the video so you can look at it but the aluminum okay universal averages on the Blackstone report I want you to know as you're going through the universal averages on the far right of the column uh, are indicative of all 3.5 Duratec engines that have had an oil analysis the one on the far left that has my numbers so like aluminum I was running at three okay as far as uh, my the testing the universal average for all 3.5 Duratex is four so I'm below average on that and that's good aluminum you don't want those wear metals in there your chromium I was at zero and the universal average is zero uh, the iron content in the oil okay another particulate and wear metal I was at five and the universal average is 12 folks and I got keep in mind they said most engines they test on the average are 67,000 miles on the average I'm at 168,000 miles now okay so my engine is below average as far as wear yet has well over 100,000 miles more than the average Ford Edge 3.5 Duratec you know checked does it say a lot about maintenance I think it does folks oil changes are important so copper my copper was at five and of course the average copper that I uh, seen here was 23 okay copper is another wear metal again overall the 3.5s I'm way below that this AMS oil is doing wonders uh, lead because that's in bearings and stuff there is lead content and I am at a zero in the universal average for the 3.5 is 2. Uh, 10. I'm at 0 and the universal average for all the 3.5s is 1. 
uh, Molly Bendham. I am at uh, 137. Now, Molly Bendham is a good thing to have, okay? Universal averages for the oils that folks are using are 59. Okay, so the AMS oil has the upper hand on this Molly, Molly B. So uh, that's good. That's a good thing. And I think that contributes to some of it. Uh, nickel, I was at zero, and the universal average again for this wear metal was one for most Duratex. Um, manganese, I was at zero, and the universal average was one. And let's see, uh, silver. Silver was zero for both universal average and mine. And then uh, titanium, uh, I was at zero, and the universal average is three. Okay, so that's another uh, wear metal that you have there. Potassium uh, is an additive on there, I believe, and I was at a two, and then uh, universal average is five. And uh, again, that's a good number, not a bad number. Uh, boron, boron is another additive that does help. Uh, I guess suspend particulates and things like that and of course uh, my boron level in the AMS oil is 58 and the universal average for most oils is 48 so AMS oil does have an upper hand in that additive also silicon silicon is nine okay silicon will come from uh, gasket seals and any gasket uh, silicon leaching from uh, sealants within the engine and again, I guess the engine's protected pretty good because I was at a 9, and the universal average for most 3.5 Duratex is 15. Uh, sodium, sodium in my engine was 7, with the universal average of 61 in most engines. Okay, so again, the sodium was uh, quite a bit lower in that aspect. Calcium, calcium is a unique thing that they add to, the, you know, it's an additive to the uh, engines. And, of course, uh, AMS oil uses a lot of calcium uh, to help keep things clean, I guess. And, of course, uh, that is $34.97 for the actual oil additive. And the universal average for most oils that they find is $20.59 when they do the testing on the 3.5. Uh, magnesium, $14. Okay, and get this. The universal average is $186. So the magnesium is very low on my Ford Edge, which is a good thing. And then, of course, your phosphorus is 681. And it's right spot on the money almost, 682 for most Duratex when they're tested. So I'm just one uh, off on that. And the zinc, zinc is used to help protect a lot of things within the engine components. And uh, I'm running a 680, you know, let's see, a, no, an 838. And the universal average for zinc in most motor oils found in testing for the Duratec is 788. So definitely got more zinc in the AMS oil. Now the good point that I really wanted to look at was my viscosities were pretty good at 55.6, which is right within the window. It's on the higher end of the window as far as the viscosity. So that tells me the viscosity was, you know, staying within the range and not getting uh, too terribly uh, thick or any or thin and then of course uh we have the flash point the flash point was at 400 and you want anything over 385 so that means the oil will stay in good shape uh fuel percentages generally fuel percentages are going to you know anything below 2.0 is considered uh good and of course i must have good injectors and good fuel burning in fuel system because mine was at below 0.5 uh, percent for fuel in the oil in my antifreeze <laughs> water pump yes antifreeze zero folks 167,000 miles 68,000 now and zero antifreeze in my oil okay and I'm happy to see that and that goes for the water also and then last but not least the solubles were at 0 0.1 percent which means the filter, the AMS oil filter, was doing excellent because, as a rule, they're looking for anything that is a, below a 0 0.6. Okay, you start getting higher than that, then you start having problems. So that AMS oil air, oil filter was doing an excellent job. So I do have uh, all these things here that I do have. Uh, let's see, I gotta get out of this one. 
And I do have another, uh, you know, document that compares the first testing with the uh, Blackstone. And I will, of course, post that up and you all can look at that and, uh, of course, check out what you want to check on it. But the ultimate rule here I have, folks, is I'm using a 0W20 AMS oil. Uh, all I can tell you, folks, that I want to decide to go to this is that I am staying with it, okay? Uh, it's lengthening my oil changes, and the results are what I consider astronomical, okay? Uh, I'm perfectly happy now and content with the testing. So if you're thinking about buying AMS oil with AMS oil filter, which is what I would do, uh, I, I'm going to tell you, go for it, okay? If, if you're waiting for me to say something, I'm sticking with it. I like it, and I'm going to run that up to 250 uh, hours, and that's probably going to put me 12,000, 15,000 miles on my edge uh, on one oil change, okay? The oil's clean. The solubles, everything's there. We're not causing any varnishing or anything like that. So, again, the engine is still protected. And that's why I do the actual testing on the oil to verify that I am not causing problems in the engine. So, if that's what you're all waiting for, then, uh, of course, that is the ultimate uh, decision factor for me. So, uh, you know, my past history, I've never really considered AMS oil. But having got the testing for factual data, uh, you know what? I'm staying with it. Uh, it's, it's actually cheaper in the long run because I have extended oil runs. But again, you can decide on whether or not you want a 520 based on your weather conditions and everything else. But I went for fuel efficiency uh, goal also with the 020. Okay, And uh, I can only assume that the AMS oil transmission fluid is going to perform exactly the same and that's what I got in my transmission so with those two synthetics both in my transmission and my engine uh, I can say that it's a notable increase in gas mileage uh, you know is as uh, with all things you, you know you, you weigh in what your driving habits and everything else are but I can say that with the winter fuel change and with the added dish addition of the uh, AMS oil transmission fluid and the AMS oil engine oil I, my fuel loss seems to be a little bit less this year okay so uh, that's it folks for you who are watching on the Facebook page waiting for this video here it is folks and of course I will uh, put some uh, pictures up with these reports at the end here once I'm done and uh, you can take and pause it and look at it or you can just go to mac t ford edge yes go up there and join mac t ford edge on facebook and then you can pull the file up print it out study it whatever you want to do folks it is there for you to use look over and of course make your own determinations and that also goes with subscribing to this channel by all means make sure you do subscribe and of course pass this on to your friends share it and of course uh, be ready to watch some other videos I'm gonna try to do a short little one here later but anyway this is Mac T Ford Edge this is the AMS oil testing and we gave it thumbs up folks we did it okay and uh, we are gonna continue using AMS oil in all my edges so that's being said I do have a little bit of music for you to listen to and of course Mercy Girl has a few things to say but Hey, you can watch the reports at the end of this. I'll post them up so you can see them. Have a great day. And, oh, I almost forgot. My feet hit the floor today. And, of course, I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day, too. Ciao. Thank you for watching Mackie's videos. And remember to like and subscribe. Go Pajama.